What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we have a Pokemon Generations ETB, but nope, just kidding. This is a uh, another PSA video and uh, I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure there's some gym challenge cards in here and I don't think it was as heavy as the last one, so I don't think this one might go, eh, yeah. So good amount of cards here, but not nearly as many as the Gym Heroes one. So this might go a little bit quicker than, yes, or the last video we did, or PSA video. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure what the difference, I, they just must be like back-to-back -back sets. I'm not sure if one was better than the other as far as uh, Gym Heroes versus Gym Challenge. In fact, like the trainers seem to be um, kind of like the same. But uh, let's go through this collection. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that sub button as well. Of course, we do tons of Pokemon content and starting to hit the Pokemon Masters pretty hard as well. And let's get into our first card. We have a Brock's Ninetales. Uh, I feel like I don't remember who it was that gave. I think someone gave Brock a Vulpix. And I didn't know that they evolved to Ninetales, but this one is a Gem Mint 10, so very nice card right there. And wow, that's a quite a Pokemon power. That's a lot of text. So much like this Will O' Wisp looks kind of strange. And this card doesn't sound that strong. I don't know what Shapeshift does. It's text is a little too small to read, but only 30 damage for an evolved Pokemon. And actually, uh, I kind of I must have liked that Ninetales when I was picking these cards up because we got another one. Another unlimited Gem Min 10, Barox Nine Tails. Man, almost 20 years old at this point. Okay, I'm not sure. It seems like we're just going in set order, uh, but we're doing all the different variations. So we have a first edition Giovanni's Gyarados. And this one is a PSA 9. What again, I, I hit the hit upon this uh, in yesterday's video, but the the gym gym sets like I feel like there's a good amount of overlap between the Pokemon like you have 150 Pokemon to pick from and I feel like it's like oh there's multiple Gyaradoses there's multiple Moltres uh, then we have Giovanni's Machamp this card I don't think it was surprisingly cheap and this one's Gemmin 10 unlimited amazing but and I really love this art um, you know I feel like a lot of times the Pokemon is just chilling just standing there but this one you know he's going at it and uh, yeah I, I think that art is really nice. Yeah, so a gem mint 10. And uh, yeah, again, I really like that art. So we got another one, and this one's even PS our first edition, and once again, PSA 10. So absolutely amazing. This next one, I think this card was actually pretty expensive. I'm not sure why, but it's Koga's Ditto. Did not realize Koga had a Ditto. But Ditto is always an interesting Pokemon. I feel like they do some pretty cool stuff with them. Um, I don't have the cards, but when they had like, they're actually Dittos, but he's transformed into something. So like those Ditto cards are pretty cool. And now we have Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Pretty sure this was his go-to Pokemon. Yeah, because I think he was trying to get Ash to evolve Pikachu. So pretty cool with, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, is this not in English? I was like, what the heck is Kerzap? <laughs> but nope, that's, this is the English card. Just an interesting choice for a name. And then, yeah, first edition Gem Mint 10. And we also have the unlimited version, too. So, very nice. And, uh, yeah, uh, kind of hinted at this, but there are multiple Gyaradoses. And this one is for Sabrina. Oh, no, pff, for Misty. Not sure where Sabrina came from. First edition PSA 9. Very nice. First, yeah, I just said first edition. Okay, moving right along, we have Koga. If attack a Pokemon, it does damage to defend a Pokemon is now poisoned. So use a trainer card to poison your opponent's Pokemon. That does not sound very good. Um, although, I guess Koga's trap is only marginally better where it confuses as well. Like 19 years later, Koga has improved to confuse the Pokemon as well. <laughs> but first edition, PSA 9. All right, and that was our first stack, and so I'm just going to make some room for the second stack. All right, here we have Zapdos. I really like this art. This one's a really cool one. Zapdos looks really nice. He's kind of using attack, and he looks... Something about him looks evil. <laughs> and so we have Rocket Zapdos, and this one is a Gem Mint 10 Unlimited Rocket Zapdos. 
And uh, this must be another card that I enjoy because I have another one. Gem Mint 10 again, Rocket Zapdos. All right, let's see, we got some trainers coming up. We got Blaine himself for a first edition PSA 9. Very nice, so much so that we have two of him. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here because uh, we got a third one. <laughs> Blaine must be uh, pretty cheap, or was pretty cheap at one point. Um, I'm guessing like there's just PWC auctions and they have like a bunch of cards. So I just put, you know, for ones I don't really care about, I'll just put a lowball number and sometimes I still win. So I was like, all right, cool. And ooh, Giovanni, Gem Mint 10, first edition. Very nice. What does this do? Choose one of your Pokemon. That's Giovanni. For the rest of your turn, you may evolve that Pokemon, even if you just played it. Oh, that's, that's not bad. And okay, we already went through you, but uh, we got Koga again. But this one is Gem Mint 10 First Edition. Then we have Sabrina. Sabrina is always pretty cool. Take all your energy cards, attach to one of your Pokemon Sabrina's name, and attach them to another Pokemon. Hmm, that's also pretty good. Although I think um, I think Base Set Venusaur. I think that was his ability. Although it might be limited to Grass Energy. And so we kind of downgrade to the nine Unlimited. And I'm guessing this is a blunt, or like I didn't realize what I was purchasing. <laughs> but we have a Blaine's Ninetales, and this is non hollow. Uh, so, a bit of probably was a mistake on my own point, my end, but hey, first edition Gem Mint 10 Watsy card. Never complain too much about those. And we've seen this guy before, Giovanni. Unlimited though, Gem Mint 10 still. Very nice. And then our last card is Misty's. Gyarados, PSA 10 again. I guess Gyarados might have been pretty easy to grade. So I'm pretty sure this, um, the ones I have multiple copies of, probably just because they weren't that expensive. So, uh, so yeah, that one was a bit quicker, and uh, we still got a couple more boxes of PSA cards that I happened to find uh, in my apartment when I was trying to get organized. So look forward to those showcases coming up in the near future. And uh, so that's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching, um, and tons of more content to come. Unified Minds right around the corner. Hidden Fates. So excited for that at coming at the towards the end of August into September. And yeah, tons of uh, Pokemon Masters content. I'm going to see if some couple people ask for Pokemon Go content. So we'll see if we can do some of that as well. Uh, so look, a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.